What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the top five best Warabots weapons in 2022. You can already see the weapons here in this hangar. I'm not counting in Titan weapons. That will be a separate video. But uh, yeah, what do you think is going to happen? Let's jump into the gameplay and show you which one is the best weapon by far. Starting, however, with the one that is a little lower on the list. So let's go for it. But first, today's sponsor, the Amazon App Store, is something that could really interest all of you out there because you can literally save money using my link down in the video description pinned comment. You may remember the other games I've shown you in the previous video, Z-Day, World of Tanks Blitz, and the Underground Kingdom, like you see here. They all have one thing in common, they're all on the Amazon App Store, which means you can save up to 20% on all in-app purchases made. And by the way, War Robots is also on the Amazon App Store. The way it works is you just make your purchases using Amazon coins. They're a digital currency on the Amazon store for apps, games, and in-app items. And uh, the discount varies from 10 to 20% depending on how many of them you get. 100 coins equal around $1 and they're available in the US, UK, Australia, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. A little honest trivia here, I actually kept playing ants on my phone the whole time ever since I made the first video. I'm now level 10 and spending a lot of time upgrading the rest of my economy before I go more into battle. <laughs> so just download the Amazon App Store on your Android tablet, PC emulator or phone and buy the coins using a discount on the Amazon store and use them in your favorite games. That's it. And of course, make sure to use my promo link down in the description pinned comment to get this discount and then, well, happy discounting everyone. <laughs> Starting with uh, a weapon we have in the game for quite a while, it's Scatter and Havoc. Um, to me, these things are just the ultimate brawling weapon. Um, but the problem, of, of course, you're going to be running into from time to time is they have no fixed reload. They have a continuous reload. And a continuous reload has always an a disadvantage when the engagement goes on longer. But the big advantage of these weapons is tremendous firepower for a short time. And you will not be able to repair any of the damage back. Um, that you do and that really is a monstrous advantage right there Especially when your enemies are robots that utilize a lot of healing tanks for example, right? This thing lives from its healing capabilities. This guy for example is a Fenrir. So can I get somebody uh, in 300 meters so we can start boosting him? Yep, there we go So let's go in stay inside the shield activate extra resistance and just brawl away at him, right? Um, and uh, these weapons will not allow him to heal back any of this and that is why the Fenrir will go down much quicker than uh, if I would kill him with anything else. As you see how much they have in the back there, I am eventually running into this problem that the enemy just has too much shooting me. But I already said what I needed to say about this weapon. Maybe we can drop the Fenrir. Yes, we can. And now it's time for me to die. The enemy is doing a lot to make that happen. <laughs> it's a fen the freaking Cadbury is crazy. All right, one thing I forgot to mention is that the Scatter Havoc is best used on a Scorpion. It's by far the best Scorpion you can build, all right? Is Cudgel, Mace, and Hammer. Explode shotguns, triggering bump effect with a decent range. Uh, shot grouping skill that you can use on the pilot, dealing tremendous damage to enemies at short range. And the best thing is they have a short, relatively short fixed reload and offer you max firepower right after again. So what do we have coming here? Let's see. It is a Mender boy. And you can see he's already taking damage when that shield pops up. I'm jumping on him now, reloading at the same time, and then let's see what we can do about him here in short range. Bam, 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 bam. Right there. All right, so. Um, the Mender has a, a lot of HP. He's very tanky, but we are, so are we, and we have the firepower to eliminate him very quickly. And no matter how much he runs for his life, he's not going to be able to get away from this. Even though I was just suppressed, I was stay, still able to kill the guy because the bump effect doesn't really care about his suppression, right? And that is a cool thing because the bump effect will do the full damage regardless. Here's a scorpion and I definitely want to drop the scorpion. Pop! Ah, he almost died. No, he did die. Extra resistance activated here. We have plenty of enemies on us. One of them being this guy. And you see what you can do here uh, with this particular setup. It's just insane, right? We're gonna die just any moment, which is great. Uh, and, uh, oh gosh. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna activate extra resistance here. That scorpion wants to get away from me, and I'm trying. He's double, triple, quadro, ultra face shifting. He really doesn't want to lose his freaking sc scorpion, man. Look, I'm in the middle of the enemy base. Everyone is on me here. 
Uh, Scorpion teleported away, but he made a movement m mistake. Walked forward instead of backwards, and I'm still here. Again, one other thing is that these weapons have... Uh, they ignore physical shields, and they're, therefore, therefore they're excellent at dropping, for example, Arthur Titans, uh, and also with the bomb effect titans in general. Uh, so, let's go for uh, the angler robot in this case with the number three weapon category, claw, jaw, and talon. Not just because you can shoot over cover, which you can see me do here, um, being suppressed of course, uh, but also because you have a short fixed reload with tremendous firepower in between. Look at this guy, he would be safe, but not from these type of weapons because they can simply shoot over this. Of course, I was missing one single shot to finish him off, but I can do that now. Now we have a scorpion on us because it's team deathmatch. That's how it's, uh, how the game works in team deathmatch. Um, so, let's shoot over this. He's got this pop-up shield now, and after he gets the other shield, and then we can finally drop him. So, that is jaw, claw, and talon. Very effective weapon setup. I know what this guy's using. He's gonna use a scorpion. He's gonna jump on me. Pop, hello, friend. Oh, you're here. That's very interesting. I'm gonna use this now, and you're gonna teleport back. Wait, am I not? Wait, do I have multiple scorpions on me? Yeah, there must be multiple scorpions. Yeah, it's two of them here. Look, so first scorpion, we're dropping him. Even in short range, you can use these weapons very effectively. Uh, and at longer range, they have still the same perfect accuracy. And they're just really, really effective. Boom goes the Scorpy boy. So giving ourselves a support here. This guy's gonna teleport on us any second now. And when that happens, I'm gonna... Force, uh, face shift. We have, again, most of the enemy team on us because I don't know why. Where's my team? I, I, I just don't understand. We're in sight. But we can do tons of damage to this guy. Drop him very quickly. It's doing the same thing to him here. Bam, bam, bam. And, uh, whoop. Shield on us. With the shield, we can run in with face shift, right? And after this face shift, we simply activate the, the real shift from the ability here. And we're gonna stay on this guy, but we're gonna drop him. He's gonna lose his target lock. See if we can drop him. He's got a uh, last stand now. Can I drop him before he go? No, okay. But you saw how much we were able to do with these claw, jaw, and talon. Super powerful weapon setup. One that I really, really like. So, number two is the Blight, Decay, and Hazard, of course, used on a Fenrir here. Of course, you can use it on any number of things. Um, the advantages are easy to summarize. 600 meters range, perfect accuracy, ultra short fixed reload for maximum damage output, right? Uh, you can even use it on tanks, but obviously on a leech or on, um, on, a, on a Typhon robot, these things simply work well, no matter what. I'm coming in here, boom, activating uh, my, my my, my resistance back and even as a brawler remember this is a high damage output sniper weapon but it is even used extremely well in short range as well so you can brawl with it you can snipe with it and uh, the fact that you have this ultra short fixed reload makes it always a good choice in um, in, in in any encounter that lasts longer bum 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 that target switch really kills it for me here but we're still in the game we have half the enemy team firing at me at the same time as usual look at this guy he's knocking himself out having so much fun ruining my play here but I'm gonna be firing back at him and he instantly dies. Why? Because we have a weapon with 600 meters range that offers the necessary firepower to punish somebody who's just not careful for one single second. Scorpion coming in from behind there. Let's see. Bam bam. Bam bam. And he's almost done. And that is at 600 meter max range. Show me a weapon that can do something like this. Having a fixed reload and being back with full firepower pretty much immediately. This really is a game changer. And that is, in my opinion, why this weapon deserves its spot so high up in this list of the best weapons. We were not able to drop him because he really walks into the tiniest of corners down there. But we are still dropping a lot of other things to last end. It's basically all I'm able to do is pe drop people to last stand. I can't kill anybody, because every time I try, they walk behind cover. And the insane amount of resistance we have on the Fenrir allows me to survive. Three, two, one, pop, and there goes this guy. Look at this. We're still in the game. Can you believe it? Bam, bam, bam. One quick shot, and he almost bit the farn right there. Pop. Da -dam. The Titan is so high, I can hit him perfectly from here. He's coming in, he really wants to kill us, but uh, yeah, 
Look how fast we can drop this dude at that range. I mean, we're t shooting a Titan and he doesn't really stand the slightest chance. Pop, Titan Slayer, no problem with 600 meters range. And so, in my opinion, there is no question about it. This thing is by far one of the most effective weapons in the game. And, um, yeah, it deserves that spot on this list. Look, he barely, he barely dares to come out because he knows what happens when that thing triple shots him. Pop, 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 he got, he's gone. That's what happens. Pop, pop, pop. This guy, one shot. He's pretty much killed as well. Reloading quickly. Pop, back, and full firepower again. This is nuts. It's an absolute nutter, nutter weapon here. That was one shot at the Aoming, and he loses 20% of his HP. Flies away. Bam, 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 bam. I'm even dropping an Aoming at this point. Pop, up, pop, pop, and pop, up. Getting shot by so many things now, but still, I'm in the game. The most powerful weapon in this list, and that is the one you see on all the meta robots. Of course, the Behemoth is very popular with it. The Seraphs are very popular. Immense burst damage weapon fire output that's higher than any other weapon. Uh, maybe, maybe Glacier is better, but that would be the only one. Look what we can do at max range. 500 meters is a high amount of range to deal with uh, robots. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just absolutely brutal what this weapon can do. Look at this guy, he lands with only 20 uh, or half his HP because this is how much firepower we have. The reload is really short and then you have that super high damage output. One thing Pixonic has never done, Pixonic never gave this weapon the ability to narrow down its firing pattern with a uh, shot grouping skill, which is probably good because if they did, this thing would just be even more broken. Look how fast Titans just get deleted from it. I mean, there's just no question about it. And if you run this on a Seraph, you're gonna be absolutely broken overpowered at this point. Let's finish this Titan pop. There we go. And then this guy, once he comes out of his stealth, he loses 20%, even though I was almost uh, out of firepower before. Emptying the clip. Pop. There he goes. Emptying it on him. And pop. You lose. It's just... It's nuts. And you fill up the battleship meter so fast, too. So, this guy, pop, there goes the scorpion. He thought he could sneak in, sneak one in from behind, but <laughs> no, sir, you cannot. This guy, even in his ability, I'm still doing so much damage that he almost dies from it. It is really unreal. Ravana is going to use his ability charge, but no, he forgot. He forgot that he can press the button and he basically dies in one second. Of course, this was combined with the maximum firepower drones and everything, but this is my current top five most powerful weapon ranking here of Warabots. Um, one thing I should mention, Fainter is really powerful too. However, it tends to miss pretty much everything at long range. Uh, it's very hard to aim right with it at shorter range because of lags. Uh, the weapon has a continuous reload, which in the end with longer engagements hmm, makes it not not necessarily the most powerful thing, although it is extremely powerful, but it didn't make it into the list here. Also, it, it depends on how you play your robots, what maps you want to play. Do you play alone or not? Are you a loner? Uh, you play with qu squad mates who use uh, brawling, teleporting robots or whatever, then you definitely want something like Havoc or the um, Cudgel Maze Hammer. Um, also, if you play more alone and you tend to get isolated or play alone, then uh, these weapons here are really good, including punchers. Also, this on pretty much any web map. These are great. Um, the homing machine guns are still really popular and very good, uh, especially on Harpy Sirens or something, but also on other robots such as the Typhon robot or the Behemoth, but in my opinion, not quite as killing anymore with a continuous reload, not that high firepower over long engagements, and therefore not making it into this list. Um, although you can still argue whether or not uh, Havoc and Scatter with their lower recharge rate uh, of uh, slowly regenerating is good, it's just, to me, the selling point is the anti-repair thing that really makes the de deal for me when you use it on a Scorpion or on a Retro Revenant, uh, on a Revenant or something. It's crazy. And then, of course, we have Prisma. Oh, man, Prisma. Prisma is in the game. It is the best sniper weapon in the game. However, it is purely a sniper weapon, and you will be not be using too much of it on uh, Dead City. On Moon, for example, is really bad with it, or other maps. And I wanted to use weapons here that you can use on pretty much any map. You can see how much we did with uh, a tank Fenrir here that utilized a weapon setup that isn't known to be a brawler, but it still brawls very well because this is how universal and powerful it is. Um, how you can drop titans with it or any number of robots. Uh, these weapons... I like him. Very high accuracy and perfect firing uh, pattern. Yeah, it's um, 
it depends how you play. But this is my list. Tell me what you uh, tell me what you think. And um, yeah, see you in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one, and Manny signing off. Bye bye.